historians and conspiracy theorists now piling through thousands of documents, now unclassified into the 1963 assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Late yesterday, President Trump finally greenlighting the release of 2,800 uncensored documents. Among the highlights, a few weeks before the assassination, the CIA intercepted a phone call between shooter Lee Harvey Oswald and a KGB officer at the Russian embassy in Mexico City. Oswald was in Mexico City at that time. On the call, he could be heard talking in broken Russian. Also, a memo that says the FBI warned Dallas police of death threats against Oswald following his arrest. Less than two days later, Oswald was shot dead while being escorted from Dallas police headquarters. A British newspaper was tipped off about big news happening in the U.S. just minutes before President Kennedy was shot. And the files also reveal the U.S. wanted Cuban leader Fidel Castro dead. Operation Bounty details plans to overthrow Castro, among them offering a bounty to Cuban citizens to take out members of Castro's government. What's still not known are the contents of some 300 documents that remain top secret. President Trump yielding to pressure from the FBI and CIA, holding those files back for a 180-day review.